Hello everybody, so Calthero here. Welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Today we're going to be doing a restoration build on a auction car I got, which is this Ford GT here. Uh, everything was good on it, body panel wise, everything other than the glass and then this, uh, well it says trunk, but it's the hood basically because the motor goes back in here. Oh, speaking of which, I gotta put the motor in. Uh, I had to pull the motor out so I could, um, replace some of the brake and ABS systems back here because they were slightly messed up, so. We got that replaced and that's done. It said something about the ba oh, there's the battery. Yeah, battery needs to get recharged. We'll go ahead and get that recharged. Uh, as you can see, there's a few changes here. I was able to pick up a Toyota Supra a while back, actually, and I had it up in my garage, so I brought it down so I could uh, work on it here. It's in really rough shape for being a car that's not even out yet, so... Yeah, that's that's how that goes. And then if you look in the corner, you will see I have lost approximately $669,000. And that's because of this car right here. This car, I thought the Kona Seg was expensive. This car talks it off, I think. It might be right there with it. I'm not 100% sure. I found this in the junkyard today. For those of you that weren't in the around in the 80s and 90s, this is a Ford GT90. It's a concept car that was never produced or anything like that. But uh, somebody made a mod of it, which is pretty cool. And uh, unfortunately for me, it was expensive as hell. So I had to pay an arm and a leg to get it out of the junkyard. So $668,000 to purchase this out of the junkyard. And there's no engine. There's hardly anything here, it looks like. So I'm, yeah, there's nothing in there. I'm really curious to see how much this thing goes for when it's all said and done. But today we're going to be working on the Ford GT. It probably won't take too long because as you saw, the engine's already built. Most of the stuff's already, uh, whoops, I already grabbed that. Most of the stuff's already fixed. I just got to work on the suspension components. If I can find the, or if I could get to the battery, it would be even better. Oh, how am I gonna get the battery put back in? Might have to walk up here and then install parts. I can see. Oh, there we go. It's the only problem with modded cars. You gotta get pretty tricky with them here. You get fancy to get the uh, parts installed. I gotta put oil back in this thing because I took it out. I forgot I had already put oil in it, so when I went to take it out, I had to redrain the oil. So it's got oil now. That can close up. This can close up. It's pretty much just suspension, wheels and tires, and we are good to go on this thing. Um, to be honest, I built this car and had everything ready to go for it uh, a couple months ago when I last recorded before the session I did right now so there's a lot that I don't know about it as far as like performance parts go I don't know if it was built with performance parts I put performance air filters in just in the off, off case that I did uh, I did build it with performance parts I want to say I didn't but I bought them anyways just in case the, this car originally was, I was looking for one of these forever in the junkyard, and to my surprise, and I'm pretty sure it's a setting that the guy has for this mod, this car never shows up in the junkyard. I have not seen it once. I have seen the newer one show up in there, that Ford GT90 concept car is in there now, now that I have that um, car downloaded, which I'm going to have to work on that Kona Seg after this. I'll do it off camera, of course, because we've already done it, but, um, because th that car, like, took a big chunk of my money away to, uh, <laughs> to basically purchase it out of the junkyard. I'm looking for the intercooler. There it is. And I think I needed a large nine of me. Oh, no, okay. All right, one. Looked out there. I think I bought all my stuff I needed for this. A lot of this car didn't break though when I repaired it, so 
Just other normal wear and tear items I had to replace, which, yeah, I didn't do. I need to do that still. Which one was that? Double wishbone? Yeah. Might as well get that. Need that. I need that. I think I have the springs. Oh, wait. No, I don't have the springs. Shit. There you go. Now we got the springs. So we'll build this as much as we can until we uh, have to go get those suspension parts put on. And that's pretty much going to tap it out, I think. Well, no, I got the inner and outer tie rods I could do. Okay. Oh, it doesn't care about the suspension for the wheel and tire. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on. We're going to put the 18s on first. Ah. Let's try to star pattern it on this one. I know I'm going to get haze for my last two episodes where I just flew through it and didn't do it. Oh, I don't have that? What the hell? I usually have these. I'll just buy one for now. So, hope you guys have been having a good read. I can't complain myself about mine. Been having a pretty good week myself. Starting to slow down at work. Starting to get towards the, uh, the holiday break here where not so hectic. Oh, I'm running out of disc brakes. I might not have enough for this. Because I'm pretty sure it takes discs all around. We'll see. But yeah, that's, that's always good to get that. Play basically catch up. Anything. And get all the work back and all the stuff that's out of place, we can put it back in the locations where it needs to go to. I'm at work. That's something we always have an issue with, but hopefully we'll be able to get that done. And I don't have that either. Damn it. I have the other two parts of the springs and the caps for those. So, might as well get this stuff on. Rear drive axle B, I'm missing that. Maybe I was breaking a lot of the parts on this. Now that I'm going through it, it seems like a lot of stuff's not here. Yeah, there's a lot missing. And again, it's okay without this. It does not care about having the suspension there or not. real life, I don't know how you could work on a car with no, uh, or with the tire in the way for the suspension. This makes it easier. Um, did that say rear axle knuckle D, I want to say? Let's see. Yep, got lucky. Caught just enough of the glance of it, you know. Running out of rubber bushings yet again. Oh, we're almost out of brake pads too. Or er, yeah, brake pads and disc brakes. That's the other thing I mentioned earlier. Tires look a little small for this car, but that's what I wanted. So we need a gearbox for a V8, and then we need the fuel tank. Let's go ahead and get the nice souped up one here. Just in case. Although I'm pretty sure that's not what I need. And then we need a fuel tank. We'll just type it in here. I think it's a fuel tank B. There we go. Yep. Look out there. Gearbox is in. Don't have a fuel pump. Can't go cheap though. 
Gotta get the fast one. Let's see, fuel pump, just in the off case that I did do performance parts on this thing. But again, I don't think I did just because this was an auction car that I won. So there's a lot of stuff on it. All right, let's go ahead and put the suspension together here. And let's go ahead and get this next one on. So I think the order I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do the, I'm working on the Ford GT today. I think the next car I'm gonna work on is the Supra and then I'll work on the Ford GT90 and then I'll work on the uh, MR2. I know the MR2 has been sitting in here for a while, but I don't even know if I'm gonna work on that. I might sell it cause I think it's a drag car or something. It's like some sort of special addition to it. I don't know, I never saw these things as drag cars, but it does have a parachute in the back and it's got drag or slicks on the back of it too, so thing definitely means business. <laughs> Alright, let's get the suspension put on here and finished up. I'll have to do the interior still too. And we will go uh, we'll go test drive this one. There we go. Uh, let's take a look and see before I lower it down and make that mistake again. Sway bar front end link B. Yep, see, almost lowered it down and it's not even done. All right. Missing this one. All right, now let's look. Yep, now we're on to plates and the interior. So plates. Of course, California, we'll put SoCal 4G, oh, 4 GT, we'll put it together like that. We'll buy two just in case I need a second one. And of course I don't need one, damn it. All right, so we got that done. I need to purchase the interior, which this thing's a race car, so it needs race seats. And it needs a Ford steering wheel too. We use the GT41. It's an older one, but yeah, it's okay. And then I need seats. Let's see, I had I'm trying to think of when I drove one. It was a long time ago. I drove one of these things. Uh, whoops. There we go. Alright, interior's done. See the stats on the car. Something's missing. Engine cover, front left fender, rear window, rear left fender, right. Geez, there's a lot missing. Thought I was done. Oh, there's something under here. Okay. The diffuser. There's the fender. Like I said, luckily this was an auction car, so I had a lot of the parts. And then something else is missing. Engine cover and rear window. Oh, back here. Here we go. Rear window, that's cool. And engine cover. Oh, that's neat. It looks just like the real thing. Oh man. Cool. All done. It's at $134,000 right now. We're going to go ahead and go paint it. Whoops. I always want to do that. Go ahead and move this bad boy over here too. So it's ready to go. Man, that thing is low as hell. Wow. Sorry, I'm intrigued by that car. I remember seeing it when they first introduced it. All right, let's see here. For liveries we got... All right, cool, we could do the stripes. I'm gonna set it up the way... Oh, cool, you could do the old race setup too. I am going to... Oh, that's cool with the number and then a template and a white stripe. I need the white stripe. I'm gonna do the one that I drove. I actually got to drive two of these. 
one I drove. I drove two. I drove a white one with a black stripe. And then I drove a red one with a white stripe. But the white, the red wasn't that bright. It was a dark red. Like that. Yeah, metallic will do. Okay, there you go. Yep. That was like the one I drove. Okay, well, one of the two. Oops, I did not mean to take it there. I'm gonna go put it on the uh, dino rack. We're gonna dino it and see how it does. There you go. Go in here, close it up. Oh, how's. Oh, there you go. Alright. Let's go ahead and dyno this thing, see what it does. So factory horsepower wise, it should be making 703 at 5950 RPMs. We don't have much on this in performance mods, but we'll see what we got here. Let you guys listen to it. Eight hundred and twenty-eight horsepower. So we had a seventeen percent gain just from a fuel pump, the gearbox, and uh, some air filter. So can't go wrong with that. If I souped up that engine even more, this thing would easily just destroy things on the track by any means necessary. All right, I remember this was such a bitch to get into these damn things. Let's listen to it in here. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take it to the track. Where is it at? There it is. So backstory to that, um, for those of you that know, some of you know anyways, I used to work at a uh, Ford dealership in Orange County, California that was uh, partially owned by my dad. And the guy that was his business partner, actually bought the Ford GT we got, which was this red and white one. That's how I got to drive it. I uh, I took it to the gas station and I cleaned it up for him to take home. Ooh. Oh! And we wrecked it. Let's try that again. That's what we get for putting standard tires on. power into these standard tires. I need a I need race slicks. Jeez, there's just no way. Let's try that again. Just as soon as I think I got them locked up and they won't keep spinning, it keeps spinning the tires. Oh my goodness, we're so dead. Oh man, okay, we'll try it one more time. We might not be able to get a reading on this thing with these tires. I'm feathering it through fourth and it's still spinning. Alright, there we go. We finally got it. Oh, it's maxing out though. It needs another gear. have it top speed is 281 kilometers an hour that's really really fast actually 
Um, and it needed a whole. It has enough potential to have a more pick up and go too. It just needs a another gear in there, which I forgot to do with the tuning, which is my fault. But then again, we didn't even have racing slicks on this thing too. I wasn't trying to race the thing, but it definitely uh, it was definitely hauling some ass. That's that's putting it very lightly. But yeah, it's it's definitely one of my like top 10 favorite cars of all time that were built was the uh this generation of the ford gt it's uh it's very unique it's very different the only thing that i really hated about the car when i got to drive it is getting into it is a bitch because your back and your hip nails this roof every time you get in the thing you're just like uh trying to get in and then you hit your head trying to get out with it so it's not the best but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Until next time, take care.